We've now moved down to our state of the art power mills and Ross is going to talk us through the main aspects of these machines. Okay, so we're now at the power mill and we'll show you another way of being able to log into the equipment. So on the Hale Fitness Cloud, you'll have an exercise library that either you have created or your instructor's created for you. So we're on a cardio workout just now for the power mill. Daryl's got it on his phone. He's just going to go scan equipment. And then on the console, he's going to tap log in. That'll bring up the QR scanner. He'll be able to hold it over there. That'll log him into the equipment. You can then just put your phone to the side. That'll confirm it's logging you in. And the same way as the wristband shows you on the right hand side that you're logged into the equipment. It does it the same thing for the phone logging in to do your training program that's been created for you. Okay, so your workout will come up on the screen, the one that you've put in yourself or your instructor's put in for you. You're just going to press start, Daryl, get ready to do that one. You'll get your usual warning, three, two, one, countdown, and then that's you ready to go and the stairs are going to start moving. Okay, so one of the workouts underway, you've got the adjustment levers, just in close little hand proximity to be able to increase the level. So you're going to get up to the level you're able to start with. Now, some of the nice features about the power mill, it's right on trend within the industry at the moment. Everyone seems to be loving a power mill workout. Really great piece of cardio equipment again. It's really popular as a shorter workout, so people are doing maybe an on average nine minutes as opposed to 20 minutes on a treadmill. So it works really well as part of a hit training or as part of a circuit class or something like that where you do shorter periods of time at slightly higher intensity. Some of the unique things about the power mill is it's got three working steps, so you can be a little bit closer to the top and then not worry so much if you, you're struggling to keep up and you can go a little bit lower down on the pedal height as well. It's also really useful then if you've got shorter people or taller people on the equipment. Should be something that's comfortable for everyone. 